Welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, please go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe. This is the F1 show. A part of this series, we're talking about the aerodynamics of the new 2022 Formula 1 cars. First episode was on the Mercedes W13. Now we're going to talk about the Ferrari F175. We'll be talking about some unique features here in this car. But once again, we're going to go through some parts of the car just to show the technical side of things. And then we can go further into some detail. First piece that we'll be looking at is a head-on picture of the front on car um, I think it's a beautiful design um, one of the better looking ones overall um, and first let's talk about the front wing now the front wing has a very very shallow winglet area in front of the wheel and then it gets higher into the middle and then a higher at the nose one area now this is completely different compared to how the Merc was the Merc was higher on the outside in front of the wheels and comes diving down towards underneath the cone so as you can see teams are manipulating the design differently to see exactly where they can maybe be more sufficient now overall the these things will change during testing they will also change come the first race but the teams have to get these things out there first they have to go and test them to see what really works so this is a very unique design um, I think Ferrari front end is actually as I said very clean front line um, the, the air how they're trying to flow it it seems as if they're trying to take the air off the front wing um, into the car or by the air intake side pods and then around the car so as I said each team are going to take a different approach from this angle that's what it seems as if they they're trying to project and once again your team will change um going forward now let's move on to the next picture that we have here now looking on this card is very unique design um, what I'm going to really talk about here um, now in this picture though we focus more on the rear of the car um, as you can see the rear wing have a very typical design of the regulation it come, starts high it comes on low into the middle and then comes back on the other end so they stick into the design they didn't get too crazy with it um, Merck on the other hand have a more wavy rear wing so once again it's how each team manipulates the rules and regulations but I think to be honest it's typical um, rear wing across every car it looks very simple and and you can as you can see that there's, there's just a drs built into it um in this picture you really can't see much once again with these launch videos they are very dark at this angle but hopefully with how everything is done so far with all the winglets and so forth it seems to be pretty straight on point um also notice on the rear fender and lower portion part there is two rear bars that run across the lower portion of the wing that helps to clean up some of their coming back coming off the back of the car also um, over the top so once again it helped with some dome force now let's look at the side of the car now Ferrari has think outside the box in this one they have one of the most unique side, side profile and on any of these new cars and I think they have definitely you know went out and beyond try to be most innovative on the side area of the car now in this first side shot of the car you will see that let's talk about how narrow that inlet is is on the side um, to let the air flow in once again you the air comes in and then you have those fins on the side hot air comes out and then back to the to the side of the car and back to the rear now with the design they have a very unique of way of angling the air of the car now once again let's see if this is very advantageous to be honest it's one of the best looking side pods so before we do we go on to the next picture um, let's look at the bottom part of that side pod coming behind the front wheel we see a typical um, side skirting airflow channeling under the side pods going around the car and then back up behind back wheel towards the back of the car once again having that airflow coming from the front um, on the side of the bodywork and towards the back of the car hopefully this design will be very um, stable for the cars as we can see and we can go forward with this also one thing to point out their wing mirrors is quite unique too um, they're mounted on the car on the side pod um, coming from the car itself too right so it's two structured point right there something to note also now moving on the picture that everyone has been talking about the way how deep this side pod is and once again Ferrari I think really went outside the box and really came up with this beautiful design there might be some challenges with it overall but let's see what comes about in the next you know one to two races to see if they it actually works so going back to the same design the air comes from the front it comes over this side pod into the air in the intake in the front of this feature and then the air comes out these vents and then goes back to the car now once again the way how the side pod is shaped 
very unique to have that airflow coming in that channel and then come around the back of the car. I think it's it's a very unique design. Other cars coming up with very unique ways of trying to channel that airflow. Once again, all these cars are brand new. 2022 regulations have definitely put every team on standby to really say, okay, who have the best designers overall? We'll see when it comes on to the first race and let's hope we have a good season for 2022. With Ferrari having one of the largest wind tunnel budgets, I think you should see some really great benefits behind this and I hope it really works for them. They have been on the back for quite some years now and to get back Ferrari in the forefront would be a great year for them. So let's see what they come up with in the next few races. So once again, these are just a few elements that were shown on this brand new Ferrari. But we have to wait and really see how the first races will go. Once again, thank you for joining me. I'll catch you on the next one.